Hey everyone, Sebastian here with Cosmic Candy. Today, I wanted to share a simple but important tip when using Voxango's span plugin. The tip is to increase span's block size for more visual clarity in the low end. The additional insight gained from seeing this detail is useful whether you are producing, mixing, or mastering. By default, span has a block size of 2048 samples. This means that 2048 data points are acquired before Fourier transformation is performed. If we increase the block size to let's say 8192 samples, then 8192 data points are acquired before the Fourier transformation is performed, and we end up with a finer frequency resolution. With a finer resolution, frequency peaks become more narrow, and neighboring frequencies begin to appear as more distinctive peaks rather than a single peak. Playing two sine tones at 261.63 Hz and 293.66 Hz, we can see that the spectrum on the left with the lower block size shows both tones as one peak, while the spectrum on the right with a greater block size shows both sine tones as distinctive peaks. Let's play through a few songs to see how Span's default block size of 2048 samples compares to a block size of 4,096 samples. So as you can see, there's quite a noticeable difference between the two block sizes. It's important to note that the spectrum analyzer refreshes less as you increase the block size, leading to more choppy animation. However, you can increase the spectrum refresh rate by raising the overlap percent, which is 50% by default. Just keep in mind that your CPU load will increase, so try experimenting with different values to see which one provides you the best trade-off between smoothness and CPU performance. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys find this tip useful in your musical endeavors, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.